Takata making any, any progress here? That's the key question. Well, it's been very slow. Yeah, I think the only, prog only progress is just replace them with a, uh, with a competi competitive uh, inflator. So the issue really is the, the chemical that they use in inflator yep. called ammonium nitrate. Yep. So it, it, it's not very stable when it's humid. Uh, so it, that's why it's these, these airbags just exploding. You know, um, unintended. I guess that's why early on in the recall, oh. they really highlighted that cars mm -hmm. in environments where it was hot and humid, which yeah. is a lot of places on this globe, um, right. uh, were very specific in right. the recall right. because of ammonium nitrate. Right. So um, now they actually expanded the recall. Now it's uh, about three, 53 million globally, yeah. 34 million of which, which is in the U.S. Yeah. Now the question is, you know, like. China is the largest auto market in the world. Why, you know, what's going on in China? Well, it seems like a lot of these airbag problems are in cars between 2000 that were produced in 2002 and 2008. So in China, we didn't really see the car population explode until 2009. So there's actually a very minimal impact to the Chinese market. Interesting. Right. Interesting. Okay, but why is Takata sticking with ammonium nitrate? Uh, well, they are using a different uh, formula of ammonia nitrate uh, and they're also thinking about switching out of ammonia nitrate because it's not just ammonium nitrate that's causing a problem, it's maybe it's the design of the inflator itself. Got it. So got they're it. looking also to kind of revamp that.